as fishy as it sounds, two Russian oligarchs in a matter of 24 hours have been found dead with their families. This video may seem like something right out of a crime novel or a thriller movie, but I can assure you it's real life. And these deaths are a few in a number of such incidents that have been reported since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The former vice president of Gazprom Bank, Vladislav Avayev, his wife Elena and their 13-year-old daughter Maria, they were shot dead in their multi-million dollar apartment in Moscow. Their bodies in fact were discovered by Avayev's eldest daughter Anastasia who claimed that she got suspicious after she didn't receive any word from them for the last couple of days. Now here's what the police say. Police claim that Avayev killed his daughter and his wife and then shot himself. This murder-suicide theory is based on the fact that the oligarch's home is based on the 14th floor. It's a luxury apartment and was found locked from the inside. Important to also highlight here that Avayev had a very crucial role to play in Russian President Vladimir Putin's Kremlin administration, where he was the head of a key department. And it's not just Aviyev and his family. I mentioned two such deaths that have been reported in the last 24 hours. The other oligarch is former top manager of a major Russian gas company, Novatech, Sergei Protosenya. His body was also found along with that of his families. He, his wife and daughter, their bodies were found in a rented villa in Spain. They were there on a holiday spending the Easter vacation together. The 55-year-old Russian oligarch's body was found hanging in the garden of a villa in Laura de Mar by the Spanish police. His wife and daughter were found hacked to death in their beds. Now, according to local Spanish media reports, an axe and a knife were found next to Protosenia's body in the garden. It's a very similar script that's been seen in both these oligarchs' death. Even in this case, the police was alerted after Protosenia's son raised an alarm, saying that nobody was responding to his calls. And that's when cops went to check the rented villa in Spain and found Protosenia's body along with that of his wife's and daughter's. The police are probing two angles. One, similar to Avayev, that Protosenia killed his wife and daughter and then killed himself in the garden. The second is that someone had killed all three of them and staged it to look like a suicide. Surprisingly, on Protosenia's body, not a single blood stain was found. At the same time, investigators found blood-stained socks which was reportedly used to, as gloves to ensure that no fingerprints were found on the murder weapons, on the axe and the knife that the police found. So these gruesome deaths have set off a detailed police investigation and all angles are being looked into, whether this was a murder, whether it was suicide and also the angle of foul play. They're also looking into whether there's a connect between the two killings, whether the oligarchs were in touch with each other before their deaths. I did mention earlier that this is the latest in a spate of such incidents that have been reported. The gory deaths of Protosenia and Aviev aren't the first. Quite a few Russian oligarchs in the last one or two months have been found dead in mysterious and in similar circumstances. And let's tell you about some of them. On February 25th, a day after Russia declared war, or according to them, a special military operation on Ukraine, top Gazprom executive Alexander Tulekov was found hanging to death in a cottage close to St. Petersburg in Russia. The police also recovered a note right next to his body and that's what led them to believe that this was a case of death by suicide. Another incident is of Ukrainian-born Russian tycoon Mikhail Watford who made his wealth in oil and gas. He was found dead in Britain in his home in Surrey on February 28th, so a few days after Russia had declared war. Again, he was found hanging. His body was found in a noose in the garage of his home by his gardener. Then there was the incident on March 24th when Russian media announced and reported the death of billionaire Vasily Melnikov as well as his family, his wife and his two sons in their luxury apartment. They had all died from stab wounds and the knife, the murder weapon was found at the crime scene itself. So there are of course a lot of questions, endless speculations and a lot of conspiracy theories doing the rounds over all of these killings. Are they connected? Are they all suicides? Or are these murders? Let us know what you think in the comments. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.